Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today we're gonna take a look at a turtle scoot farm posted to the Minecraft Reddit by user King Peeps. A link to his or her profile can be found in the description below. So check them out. We have scoots, which are a powerful item in the sense that they can make turtle shell helmets, which don't only look extremely stylish, but they also provide you with a potion effect called water breathing, which gives you 10 additional seconds of breathing underwater plus some better eyesight. Once this potion effect wears off, you'll see what you would regularly see without any night vision or other potions which is not that much so this helmet is a great addition for exploring underwater areas new and old now the best thing about this farm is that you don't have to kill any turtles you will have to make more and that is because scoots are dropped when the babies turn into adults so we have some babies down here which are waiting to grow up and then they drop their scoot it is collected and we get to have a little bit of a sanctuary effect because as i said we're creating more we're doing something good for the turtle population which is always nice other than different farms in minecraft all right so the basic concept is that we get yours or you would get yourself two or more turtles either from land or from the water and transport them here for example by boat and then they will lay their eggs after you bred them after about six in-game nights they will hatch go into the water grow up drop their scoot it's collected by hoppers and you're good to go now some more detail let's match these two turtles a match made in heaven then one of them will eventually grow to this sand area or to that one right there it can also be placed right here or you could have sand all the way it doesn't really matter now as i said after about six in-game nights they will hatch after five in-game nights phantoms will spawn so keep that in mind let's take this helmet off for the uh, potion effects and um, once they have hatched they will go into the water just like regular baby turtles would in the over well not the overworld but the real world and they will swim around now once they grow up let's simulate that with this scoot item they will drop their item it will float up because of the new water mechanics and the streams will flush it into this uh, row of prismarine slabs which has hoppers hidden underneath it which all feed into this chest this farm is built in a way so that the babies will stay in here but the adults can go out because they are larger obviously and they can swim into the ocean and what i've seen also is that they will sometimes even come back to this home beach because they hatched here they will come back which is super nice so the sanctuary effect is there but we're here for the farming so you wouldn't need to have that if you didn't want them to have a free life um well that's the basic concept explained one more thing i'd like to add is that we have slabs on top of these eggs here as of this version this is snapshot 18 week 08a the zombies and other mobs that want to kill these eggs or trample them will still be able to do that on top of these slabs i'm pretty sure that's a bug and if not just add a fence around it and then you're good to go so protect those eggs from any unwanted mobs and then they will go into the water swim around uh, make sure to play around enough with this water it's important to have source blocks underneath here so that the items float up and if you only placed water up there it, the water would be flowing down and the items would also stay down so keep that in mind really important because we don't want to lose any of your scoot seagrass is also pretty cheap to breed them so it is quite a uh, well quite an easy way to get scoots once you have found two turtles you can just breed them they will lay eggs and then you will have almost an infinite amount of scoots when you have an infinite amount of seagrass that is the basic concept of this farm you could make this smaller larger whatever it's more about the concept and not the farm design and that's why i'm not going to do a full tutorial on this um just the basic parts as seen should be built something like this if you for example want the turtles to leave then you would have to make some water streams like this now if you want to see an afk phantom farm which makes these creatures seem a little less frightening because you can just kill them while standing around click the first box on the right 
yeah that's the right and the second box will be another 1.13 related video so check that out click the round icon with my face in it to subscribe and i'm happy to see you in the next video have a good day bye bye